Hello, so I'm Laura Leal Teche. I'm a professor of computer science at the Technical University of Munich in Germany. And I work with artificial intelligence and computer vision, uh, which means um, trying to allow robots to see the world through cameras and to understand the world around us. For example, for uh, autonomous vehicles. Um, so I'm very, very interested in dynamics in understanding. Um, so understanding the moving parts, for example, of a city, the pedestrians, the cars, so that a car can safely navigate in it. So I was actually born in Barcelona. I also studied a bachelor and master's uh, in telecommunications engineering. So pretty different from, from what I'm doing now. And then um, I went abroad already for my master thesis. I went to Boston. And that's when, let's say, my love for a computer vision started. And then I moved on to, to a PhD, actually never came back to Barcelona, not yet. So, so the hope is that at some point I will be able to come back. Uh, so it's been quite a while since, since I started there, but I still have a really strong connection with the city, obviously. And I do hope that at some point I can bring all the knowledge that I've collected from being in the US, being in Germany, in Switzerland. I hope I can really collect it and, and bring it back to make the, the science and technology environment a little bit stronger in my hometown. So actually, I can only tell you um, the, the part that I know, which is the part of the university and the connection of university with companies. Um, so I think what, what Munich does really well and what in general the state of Bavaria does really well is this connection between the university and industry. So the idea is that the university is the main provider of talent for the local industry. So there's a, a huge car industry, there's a lot of startups also, uh, and all these companies sort of revolve around the university and the university feeds them with talent that, that we're training, right? Um, so I think there's this strong connection is something that I really admire because it attracts a lot of good students from all over Germany, but also from abroad. We have really, really tons of students from abroad because um, they know that at the end of the studies, they will have um, good knowledge. They will have um, already done, for example, internships at several universities. And so basically when they go out, they have already a job almost guaranteed. Um, so I think this connection is something that we can really learn in, in Barcelona to have really this, the, the industry and the university completely intertwined. And of course, what this also brings is um, a lot of potential to create startups. So there's really tons of startups in Munich. It's, it's one of the hubs for startup creation. And this is due again to this, to this connection, right? The, the needs, um, the, for example, the, the professors, the students, um, they go to internships to university, uh, to, the, to the industry, sorry. They see the need that the industry have, right? The, the problems that are not solved yet by industry. And so they are really inspired to create startups. And also the university provides them with a lot of tools to create startups with a lot of, um, a lot of ideas, a lot of help. And so um, it's kind of, a, of this fertile environment to create new companies. And I think this is really exciting, right? It makes the, the whole um, university industry startup, this whole ecosystem um, super agile and, and super flexible. And this is, I think, something that is, that is really exciting and that we should bring definitely in Barcelona. Well, I think being a professor is already quite an achievement, at least, at least for me. So, so the Technical University of Munich is really one of the, of the most competitive um, universities in Europe for, for what I'm doing for computer vision and machine learning. So already being here and having this position is, um, is a huge achievement. Um, I also in 2017, I was awarded the Sofia Kovalevskaya Award, uh, which is 1.6 million euros to start your own research group in Germany. 
And so I came from Switzerland to Germany with this award. I could start my own research group with my own ideas, pursue my research agenda and hire PhD students. Um, and this is, of course, a super competitive um, award. So I was really, really proud of, of having having been awarded um, all this all this sum of money for, let's say, for my ideas, right? So for, for the vision that I had uh, for computer vision and for artificial intelligence for, uh, for the, the following five years. And um, so, well, now the award is, is finishing this year. So uh, let's see what the future will bring us. So um, career related as an engineer by, by training, uh, what inspires me really is to solve problems, right? So I really like to, to see things that don't really work and to come up with an innovative solution for it, right? Something that no one has thought about um, to actually solve that problem. And it's really inspiring to see that problem really being solved, right? Um, so, I think, um, so aside from, from being a professor at the Technical University in Munich, I'm also a, a principal scientist at Argo, which is um, a startup or let's say was a startup. Now it's a pretty pretty big company uh, with, with locations in the US and also in Munich. And um, there, um, what, what really sort of brought me to, to go there, I only work there like once, a, once a, one day a week. Uh, but it's already super exciting to see the kind of real problems that this company has. So it's an autonomous driving company. So really trying to build uh, an autonomous car and seeing the real problems that they have is actually super inspiring for me because it just it just inspires my creativity, right? To, to immediately find solutions, uh, to work with the, with the product team and with the research team to come up with solutions. Uh, so this has also been a, a super inspiring let's say different different part of my job uh, than what I do at the university. Although, you know, most of the of the algorithms that we develop both at the university and at the company are pretty similar. So they're they're all trying to solve um, to solve computer vision, let's say, uh, with artificial intelligence. Yeah, so I actually think that when I say to people, at least in my community that I'm from Barcelona, everyone is like, oh, you have great weather, you have great food, things like this. And when I meet with, with other people from Barcelona in, in these conferences, for example, in computer vision, we are a huge group, right? I mean, there's something like 50 people from Barcelona. And then I think, well, th there's really a lot of talent that is coming from this city, right? But what the other people see, like the, the international view of the city is more like the weather food type, right? So I think um, something like, um, like this organization can be really helpful uh, to make people see that we're not only a party city, right? But we're a city full of talent, full of science and technology, and that they can really come to also work in the city, right? So you can, you can be in a city where you have a nice life, where you have nice weather, nice food, but where you also have super interesting work, right? Where you also have uh, startups that, that are bringing uh, research forward, where you have research centers, where you have uh, companies being created. So, I mean, I, I do hope that um, the international community can see Barcelona also in this way um, through this kind of, of, of organization. For me personally, um, it has been super interesting to meet other people, other talent that are abroad. Um, most of us would like to come back to Barcelona, right? So hopefully at some point we will. Um, but this networking and, and this seeing what our other people are doing um, outside and what they are creating has already been super fascinating. And I hope that in the future, if I ever you know, um, want to come back to the city, um, that I can also, the organization can also help, you know, to make connections, um, to, to help me find talent, for example, if needed. Um, so I hope that this is, um, this is all something that um, kind of a feedback loop, right? That, that at some point, everything will come back and it will all, in the end, improve the, um, the vision of the international community that they have about our city.
Yeah, so the main thing that I would say is even though Barcelona is great, right? For me, the best city in the world, clearly. Um, I would recommend people to go abroad to learn as much as possible from other cultures, uh, from other ways of doing things, other ways of thinking. Um, go to, you know, go to the US, go to Germany. Th these are all great places, right? You can really learn a lot from, from just going abroad and then come back, right? Come back to Barcelona, bring back all this knowledge that will just benefit the city. Um, I think this is really the best strategy that we can follow to enrich the city, uh, to, you know, create talent that goes abroad, then is, you know, even grows even further and then comes back to Barcelona to, you know, restart the whole cycle, you know, create more talent, make people, you know, see that, that there's really a great environment in Barcelona and bring all these science and technology back. Um, I think this is, this is something that, aside from enriching you personally, because going abroad enriches you in ways that you cannot even imagine. Uh, but aside from this, um, also think about coming back, you know, think about um, enriching your city back, um, the city that probably has given you so much, or certainly has given me so much. And I hope that I can also do this uh, one day, come back and really um, try to enrich it from the science and technology point of view.